So the, again, a transition is a change. So um, we can start out, first of all, you know, a little bit about, you know, linear edges and all. Um, when I go into an area, I look at it from a standpoint of what the topography, first of all, lays. Um, where do I have, you know, ridge line, benches, creeks, because all of these will form some kind of, you know, edge line in there. And deer are edge line creature. They like that. Well, the other thing with topography changes is that you will have vegetation changes with it. Um, you know, a steep ridge that faces the sun it's not going to have much to eat on it. Usually if it's poor soil on it, you go right around to the backside where it holds more moisture. There'll be more food, cooler, uh, thicker. So you got better cover, better food, more comfortable for the deer. So, you know, but you'll have that change, you know, at some point where it goes from dry and, you know, poor quality to the other side um where it'll have thicker vegetation and all so there'll be an edge line right there and over the years that thicker vegetation makes better soil as it decays so you have better growth in the area um so when that comes down and then say meets a hardwood bench <clears throat> excuse me i'm getting over the flu i apologize <clears throat> you're good bud but um <clears throat> but anyway didn't keep me out of tree stand did it <laughs> <laughs> but you know where that that kind meets say a hardwood flat or a bench or a cedar thicket those lines like that when you can identify them deer love to travel them they love traveling the edge lines and you know one of the things remember about a deer he's he's a browser they love picking the little branches and you know they're not a grazer they like to pick so you have on these edge lines a lot of times you'll have more overhanging branches more vegetation more feed on them and um so you know learning to identify that thing edge lines and all um whether it's caused by vegetation creek bottom um cedar thicket uh, it really makes a big difference. And you need to look at those transitions between one type of vegetation, another type of vegetation. And then when you can find, you know, um, the change there in habitat and also bring in a change in topography in there, well, then you've brought three or four different things that make right. it advantageous for the deer to travel through there. Mm -hmm.